Hi, how are you? Hope you are well. Thank you so much for subscribing to this channel. God bless you for listening. It is my hope and joy that we will keep learning something. And we say that the past generation is gone. But then as parents, we have to mentor the new generation. And this is a generation of children between the age of maybe zero all the way to the age of around 14. Because we know when a child reaches 14 now, they start making their own decisions. But we can mold them at around that time. As a parent, we have always heard that we have grown-ups who are called mommy's boys, mommy's girls. And we know so much about them, we criticize them. But I believe that the buck stops with the parent. You, you have heard, you have heard so many times where someone is married, you make a decision with your husband, they will never touch that final button until they go and inquire from their friends. Uh, I want to buy a, a piece of land in this and this place. What do you think about it? Others, I want to marry this girl. She's from this tribe. She's from this country. Mom, what do you think about it? These people, they will never make a decision unless they inquire from their fathers, from their mothers, from their sisters, from their friends. And it's not always the men. This is also happening to women. There are women who don't believe in themselves, if I may use that word. It's very unlikely for them to make a decision without inquiring from someone else. But now you as a parent of a young person, as a parent of a young child, what do you think we can do? Let us listen together. Think of your own, your own things that we can do and learn. And also add them to the comment section. I will really be grateful. However, you know that having a partner who is always relying on other people, it always weighs down on the other partner. Imagine having a partner who will never make a decision when you are two of you. Yet we know that when you are joined together, you become one. But then you always find there is always a third party. And always a third party. It is very tiresome. To find that you make a decision, everything is good, and, and you feel now we only need to, to, to act on what we have decided or what we have discussed. But then you find this person who never makes that final decision. Now, without wasting time, I want to, to address to the young parents, a young parent, I want us to think of few things that can jumpstart what we can do for these children. I came up with a road four five of them this is just to jump start uh, you find that um, a parent will not allow their children to choose their own clothes maybe when they are going somewhere but i think it's very honorable from the age of three to four years you will realize that a child will tell you mom i don't like that rosa mom i don't like that dress mom i want to wear this color kindly because we want to build this child to be a human being later in life allow them to choose their dresses if they tell you, I don't like this one, yes, you can tell them for now because wherever we are going, we need one, two, three. Kids have a capacity to understand. I need you to dress this, but this one you wear next time. You have already given them the opportunity not to feel intimidated. Other times, if it is not so important for them to dress in that specific clothes that you want them to wear, allow them to make that decision. Allow them to make that decision of what to wear. Don't keep on telling them to change, change, change. Uh, on my next point is uh, uh, allow your children to participate in family meals. Not participate and then you, you start changing. If your child says that today we are going to eat spaghetti, can we come up as a family and support their decision? Because what we are trying to do is engage them to realize that they can make a decision that can be followed by people. And this is how you find that people are made to be CEOs. You, you wonder, how come a certain character is loved so much that they, they, wherever they go from primary to high school to working places, these guys are always leaders. No, leaders are made from home. Yes, there are others who are just anointed to be leaders. But you as a parent, you have a role to pray to ensure that your child feels that their decisions are also right. So when, when you allow that child to participate in a meal, 
or to participate in work plan in the house that today we are going to arrange clothes we are going to mop this place however badly they mop allow them they will not die of working allow them to do those things allow them to allocate themselves a duty so that these children will grow to have independence not depending on mom mom did not say we wash the house so we will not wash dad did not say that we wash his car so they will not wash that car because you did not say why because you you molded them to to be waiting on you what to say you never allowed them to think on their behalf so the moment you you hear your child whether you have a house girl whether you you have other people who are working for you when a child tells you i want to clean the sink encourage them don't tell them that you have a house help encourage them to wash if they tell you they want to clean the bathrooms let them clean those bathrooms it will help them later in life that you'll be proud of that you brought up those children in a way uh, let us also think about a child being able to take to groom themselves we have seen children going all the way to high school and it is very saddening and then you find a child is in high school and this child cannot even wash their inner wears it is sad parents mothers this is not right think of those countries that are having war think of russia even if how rich those people were even if you are the queen even if your family was the, the the biggest family that in that community and war has broken the only that ha- the only thing that has helped those children the only thing that has helped them when they have moved to the european countries it is what what they learned and maybe the education because when you have certificate at least you can present it in a foreign country nobody knows about tomorrow nobody knows about tomorrow let us prepare our children let them know to groom themselves young as they are if they if you feel they are ready to start scrubbing themselves let them do it you don't have to like now on a weekend on a saturday let me give an example you know the child will bathe on 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 friday if they're supposed to bathe or shower on, on saturday do not do it for them allow them to grow then on sunday you can scrub them this is how we are going to help our children if the child has not been washing and you feel the child feels like uh, they, they, they are not they are being mistreated by being told to wash their inner wears can you stand firm stand there let them wash do not help whether to get discarded let them wash tell them bring it to me i see whether it is clean if it is not clean let it go back if it is cold let them wash with warm water we are helping our children to be dependent because if your child does not know that even when they grow up how would they be able to arrange their own clothes yes you can have the machines but the machines will not come and put the clothes in the wardrobes they will not be able to hang those clothes the machine will not come and make beds maybe they will be there the technologies keep on changing but before those technologies come let them do things that will help them because how a child how will a child know it is good to be neat if the were everything was being done for them even if they become managers even if they become the ceos even if they become the doctors of tomorrow how will they be able to know where they are working from that the environment is not clean it is not habitable if you have a girl she may become the hr and hr is supposed to oversee what happens in the company if it is cleanliness if it is the kitchen if it is the employees are they coming drunk and they have not dressed according to the company policy yes we are happy we are taking our children to school but the question is are you grooming them to be the managers are you grooming them to be the governors are you grooming them to be international student to be international people people that you can send away and know that you are girl you are boy we arrange their clothes well but now we have felt that we have to do everything for our children that is not love my dear it is not love it is not love i can tell you for that for free the other thing i was thinking about uh it's about um when they come and ask you what is your opinion do you always give them your opinion or do you also allow them to give you what they were thinking about if if my girl comes or my boy comes and tells me eh, mama uh, i what do you think about this and this let's say for those who are in high school they come and tell you uh, what what subjects do you think i should do are you the one seated in the class 
Then you start telling them because I'm thinking you should become a doctor, do physics, do chemistry, do biology, eh? Do those hard subjects. No, ask them. Sit down with your child. Tell them which ones which what do you think first before I tell you my opinion? What do you think first what the, you should take? And that child let me tell you, they are thinking. It's only that maybe by the time they have reached in high school, you have intimidated them so much that they cannot make decisions for themselves. I remember in our times because our parents were not educated, they never interfered with our high school education. Nobody came to choose for you a subject because what did they know about those subjects? It is you and your understanding of what you feel that am I capable of doing physics? Am I capable of doing the the history? Am I capable of doing the home science? Am I capable of doing the computer studies? And then you would choose the subjects depending on how you are performing. But then it has reached a point because we, in our head, we want our children to be pilots. We want our ch- children to be uh, IT specialists. We want to force them to do what we think they should do. No, 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 no. Let's help these children because the most important thing in life is God to bless you. It's God to bless that child. You, I, I keep on telling young people that it doesn't matter what profession you will take. If your hands are blessed, just like Psalm says, the book of Psalms 90 says, uh, God bless the work of my hands. Oh, yes, bless the work of my hands. I think that is verse 17. And I feel that it is not about... Thank you.